95 Honda Accord interior door handle on the driver's door will not open from the inside. It will open from the outside. Pretty sure I know what's wrong. There's a little plastic piece that connects to the rod that goes to the locking mechanism. That little plastic piece broke probably 10 years ago. I glued it all back together. We'll see if that's the problem again. You only have to remove one screw to get this door handle off. Phillips head screw right here. There's usually a little cover over that screw. Mine broke off years ago. Here's what that cover looks like. This is on the passenger side. I take a flathead screwdriver and then you can pry it open or break it off like I just did. And that gives you access to the Phillips head screw. Remove that. Then you push the handle to the right. If you have automatic lock, you'll have a wiring harness right here. There's a release tab right there in the middle. Press on that. And the same thing has happened again. That little piece fits in right here. You can see the old epoxy down there and some epoxy up here. I'm going to use some JB Weld to glue all this back together and to glue this piece back where it belongs. To get this piece off of the rod, it goes back to the locking mechanism. All you have to do is push that clip off of the rod. You can do that with your finger just like that. And then the rod will lift up straight out of it. Now with the door handle removed, all I have to do is find that rod, pull it to the right, and I can open the door that way. Now let's glue this piece back on. This piece just needs to be glued right back down there. The handle itself has also cracked right down here as you can see, so I'll glue that back together as well. JB Weld, if you've never used it, is a two-part epoxy. You just mix together two equal parts until it becomes a uniform color, just like that. Let me mix up a little bit more. Now what I'm hoping is that when I put this in place, I'm going to hold it here for a couple of minutes and let it set up a little bit so that when I let it go, this piece will not move. I've improvised a clamp between 10 pounds of weights and a drawer on my toolbox. So that seam, that crack is pushed together. And also that piece that broke off is in the right position. It's holding steady right there. Now I'm gonna wait 24 hours for a full cure and I will put this back in and test it out. It's actually two days later. So this JB Weld is fully cured. Right down here at the bottom of that piece that broke off, I got a good bead of it down there. So this should not come apart again. But one thing I wanna point out that I just noticed, these three pieces right here, fit through three holes and they catch on the back side of the door frame. That's why you have to slide it to the right to be able to get it out. But what I just noticed is that the tip of this one is broken off and it would have fallen down into the door cavity. So there's no way I'm going to find that. So the handle after I reinstall it is not going to be held securely at the top. If I noticed that initially, I may not have repaired this. I might have just bought a new handle. That's just one thing to look out for. And snap the wiring harness for the door locks back in. The metal rod that goes to the lock just slides right back down into that hole. Then that little bracket spins around to the left and snaps over the rod. And those three little plastic posts go in through the holes in the metal door frame and then slide it just a little bit to the left so they'll catch. And also sliding it left should line up that screw hole. Get that screw back in tight. Try to lock control. Make sure that's working which it is. If you're replacing your handle instead of repairing it and you have power door locks, you're gonna to need to take this switch off the old handle and install it on the new. There are two Phillips head screws that hold that switch on. So you take it off the old, put it on the new, and then you're good to go. That's it. That's how easy it is to remove, repair, and reinstall the interior driver's door handle on a 95 Honda Accord. The other three handles will come off and reinstall in the same way. Look down below for a link that'll take you to a replacement handle. I think it's $7.83. Just in case you want to replace yours instead of repairing it. I'm just naturally cheap and I already had JB Weld on hand, so it was basically a free repair for me. So I hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching.